Hey guys, welcome back to Chuckle, back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're finally working on the Porsche, finally trying to get this thing on the road. And uh, as you guys can see, we got some sick wheels on the beast. So we got some wheels on it on the last video. Um, we have the car just kind of posted up right here. Absolutely looking absolutely amazing. Um, one issue I'm kind of having with this car is the coolant system will not bleed. I don't know if we're not doing it right. It is a really weird system to get it to bleed. We bought the tool, but I think it needs like a really big air compressor. And our air compressor is yay big. So uh, yeah, that thing's super Super tiny i think it's a little bit what a five gallon two gallon so uh that might be our issue there <laughs> but anyways um that's we're having issues bleeding the cooling system it keeps overheating as soon as we pull out of the shop and it just will not hold coolant uh that being said that's literally one of the last things we need to actually get it running and driving but another issue that i'm actually having that i've been kind of dealing with behind the scenes that's the reason why the driver seats out of the car is the wiring of the car the rear body control unit that controls the rear wing that controls uh the trunk that controls some of the stuff in the rear over here it's actually located right down here so uh, this thing was actually never opened before so when you open it for the first time it kind of have to break the seal i broke the seal and uh as you guys can see yeah that is uh really 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 bad apparently water got down here corroded all these wiring the wires are literally just falling right out of the connectors uh so i need to re literally just wires are falling right out as i'm pulling it out so i don't know what happened here i don't know how far back i need to cut it uh, i called porsche i asked them to see if they can actually sell me some of these wires some of these pigtails and uh, they told me we don't sell that um you know so that was nice so to get all this stuff in the back of my porsche actually working i needed to get those wires for those of you guys who don't know i founded this company called natty auto parts we part out a lot of bmws here and i'm actually located on the street where there's a bunch of other dismantlers on the street as well unfortunately everyone that i called that is parting out porsches uh well, does not actually have access to the wire i'm assuming they already junked the car or they don't have the wiring anymore or whatever the case may be um that particular area is kind of like it's kind of a common area for water to get down there i'm not sure how i need to figure it out to make sure it never happens again uh, but it looks like it's a common thing uh, so that being said I could not find that wiring anywhere on top of the fact waiting super long to get parts for it uh, to get it rebuilt to put together for you guys it also took a very very long time because of an inconvenient issue like that and uh, yeah this build has just been taking way too long so I'm sorry for that so I did what every reasonable person would do and uh, I just went ahead and just bought another Porsche <laughs> in the exact same color I wish this thing was honestly on the market when I was looking for my Porsche uh, so then I can honestly just take all the parts and rebuild build mine this thing has good headlights it actually has a gts front bumper which is super sick it has a gts tail light uh, i say one because it's kind of damaged on the other side but look how sick that looks so that is super nice uh that one that that's smacked over there um and it had what's also super sick a gts oem diffuser all these parts are oem the diffuser is chilling right over here so that looks super nice and mean so that's obviously going on my porsche super excited for that um so yeah super happy it came with all these goodies i actually did not know that when i was bidding on this car i was just building on a normal cayman this is a normal cayman i have a cayman s um it's a completely different breed honestly uh but they look almost identical and, and most of the parts are honestly interchangeable the same way i actually have a gt4 bumper on here i can put a gt4 rear bumper you can actually put a gt4 bumper on a regular cayman as well so that being said <laughs> we got this porsche right over here from auction chilling like a villain i do actually like these wheels and i do like those calipers but i think my setup does look a lot better uh, but anyways this car thankfully is an absolute mint condition sarcasm uh but all the buttons are actually working so everything actually works thankfully as soon as i got in this car as soon as we bought it i pressed on this button and thankfully the trunk opened up everything in the rear of this car is working um, which means the rear body control module is not flooded and was all which also means that we should be good in terms of wiring so uh yeah we will be getting to that a little bit later i'm gonna go ahead and do some business stuff and just take apart the car and then once i actually get to the seat and the wiring i'll go ahead and show you guys that i'm still waiting on my soldering equipment uh so we can get that cut up and then soldered onto this bad boy. So guys, uh, this is where we've gotten so far on the Porsche. So the whole front clip's off the car. Um, nothing sold yet, but it's only been what? 12 hours? Roughly. Roughly 12 hours. Our Pretty much our following is mostly BMW people. So Porsche parts, we're still kind of testing the water. Uh, but we're getting stuff listed on eBay. I think it's only been up for maybe like less than 12 hours. Uh, so we'll let you guys know if things end up selling, hopefully quickly, because uh, it's an expensive car, not gonna lie. But anyways, uh, coming around to the interior of the car, um, thankfully, so I removed the passenger seat. This kind of scared me right over here. Um, but after lifting up on this, uh, there's a little bit of water corrosion. But and this, I don't know if this is repaired. I don't know if that's factory. It kind of looks repaired. It looks repaired. So it looks like at one point this this harness was also flooded. It looks like a common issue with these cars. Like the uh, just gets damaged down there. They repair the wires. Call it a day. I don't know. It's weird. It, it's some weird thing. Oh, here's the E91 M3 that y'all love so much. 
that one day I'll give it life again. But <laughs> she drives, so that's cool. Um, coming around to the driver's side, which is the only reason I bought this car, we got some uh, good news. Opening this up, there's no corrosion whatsoever. The module looks phenomenal. It works. We tested it out with the trunk and everything. And all these wires look phenomenal. Literally look brand new. So that is the... That right there is the reason we bought this entire car. Um, so super happy that came out the way it did. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it back. Maybe six, like, not six feet, like two, three feet back. Um, just for my peace of mind. So when I get to work on that car, I'm going to take my time, go through all the wires, make sure everything is just cut, soldered, replaced. Uh, I'm not going to do the tapping kit. I'm actually going to solder it all because I want it all to be proper. Um, and I'm going to heat, uh, shrink, whatever it's called. That's going to be later on in this video. I want to finish up this Porsche. we got so much things to list on this car. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I really want to take everything apart on this car, get this car out of here. Uh, we're going to have, we're chopping up everything on this. We're chopping off the front clip. We're chopping off the quarter panels, not even the roof, because everything on this car is super hard to get. So if people need parts, you know, reach out to Natty Auto Parts because we got it all. Uh, but anywho, uh, so that being said, I'll catch you guys probably, for you guys, about five seconds for me what do you think day two days two three days, days. <laughs> two days man so i'll see you guys in five seconds two days all righty so i went ahead and moved all the other cables out of the way these are the four wires that are pretty much ripped off they're all off one connector so it does make things a little bit easier and they are thicker wires so that is pretty good uh now looking at the wires unfortunately they are corroded uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut back maybe an inch for each one and hope and hope that that is pretty much uh as far as it's corroded uh because if it's corroded all the way back here or somewhere way back here uh that's gonna be a uh fun time okay about 15 minutes later guys i got all these stripped down looking fantastic this is a new connector no corrosion looking beautiful this is the old one take a look at that that is just gg so uh yeah saying goodbye to this connector and then coming in here i stripped out all the wires got them all really they look honestly fantastic i shouldn't have any connection issues kind of spin out the wires because unfortunately my smart self forgot the keys to this car at the house so the car still has power i don't really recommend doing this when the car has power but I finally have time to do this and I'm going to do it. So that being said, I'm going to go and restart all that onto that. Hope to God nothing bad happens. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be able to connect the module. And I don't know if the trunk's going to open because I don't have the key. But uh, regardless, in this video, I'll show you guys if it works or not. And about 30 minutes later, guys, check that out. Fully started it up, electrical taped them all individually, then electrical taped them all together. So that looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this entire mess so I can check back in here in a few months to see if any more water is actually coming in here. Um, and if there's a way to prevent this issue, if any of you guys know about this issue, please let me know. I don't know if it was because of the windows. I don't know if you guys can see the door panels. They're slightly peeled over on both sides. Let me see this one right here. It's peeling up. So I don't know if it came through the window at the auction or this kind of drainage issue and the water ended up there with the modules because some BMWs have this issue. So I wouldn't rule that out of the equation. Anywho, now that that's knocked out, super happy about that. Let's go ahead and get the module all fully connected, clean up the area. And then uh, I'll show you guys once I actually get some power to this area and see if all the trunk stuff works uh, because my smart self forgot the key. So guys, it turns out I actually did not need the key. Check this out. Holding that button, the trunk actually opened. So no coding necessary. I did what every reasonable person would do. Um, didn't want to get the module coded. Didn't want to get a new module and didn't know how to get wires. So we just got another Porsche. But anyways, I feel like that was a reasonable thing to do. And thankfully the car is in perfect, technically working shape as of right now. Obviously, I'm not sure if there's a bunch of other issues that need to be taken care of, but that module was getting no power by those four main power wires. Um, so that being said that module should be fully working and hopefully all my electronics are working now it could have actually blown some fuses not a big deal but for now since we actually can get into the trunk let's go ahead and do the gts upgrades um because i feel like we don't want to just end this video with a repair we should honestly do some upgrades and i got a few good ones here for you guys Now the crazy thing about this job guys, just as easy as it is to get the headlights off this car, the taillights are just as easy. I don't need to remove the bumper, I don't need to remove anything else. There's literally just like this one right here, this piece right here, remove that and then one bolt. Literally just one. That holds this entire taillight together 
and then we can go ahead and upgrade. So for any of you guys trying to upgrade your headlights and taillights, honestly, even exhaust, I'm showing you guys that pretty soon, uh, you could probably do your headlights, taillights, and exhaust, retrofit, upgrade, whatever, in less than an hour. Genuinely mean that. Now, if you're asking me how long does it take to do an alternator, um, three years. But we're not doing an alternator, thankfully. So let's go ahead and upgrade our GTS taillights. Just one 10 millimeter, and then this bad boy should literally, theoretically, come out. Ah, oh, okay. So that was pretty easy, guys. You literally just need to shove something back here because there is a tab, and it looks like one of my uh, taillights is missing that tab, so I'm actually gonna remove it off this taillight and put it onto mine. Easy peasy, lemon breezy. Guys, it looks so much better, but unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can see, when I removed my taillight, there was a tab on it, uh, that I basically removed, as you guys can see here, it just goes on like that. Um, this one has it as well that I removed off of the uh, the donor car. Um, but this one, unfortunately, that I got in the mail, got shipped out to me, as you guys can see, it has all the lettering and stuff. The tab was broken, and honestly, I was like, if it, if it doesn't affect anything, I'll just run it. But if, fortunately, it does affect the way it gets mounted. Um, it's popping out on the side, and that's going to bother me, especially considering how much I paid for this taillight. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him back up and see if I can get some kind of refund going, or just uh, maybe a partial refund, and then just kind of do something to make that work. But that is super unfortunate, because I really want to get both sides on. I might just get it on for now until he tells me what's up, because it's literally one screw. It's easy. So I'm going to slap it off for now. Um, and just run it and then see what happens. But uh, that is really, really, really frustrating because that would, uh, that's frustrating. I mean, it sucks when you get parts and they get damaged. Here at Natty Auto Parts, we make sure to pack everything very, very, very well. So you don't have that issue, but I guess other shops don't, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So guys, I actually got the taillight in and it's actually sitting really, really, really flush. But the thing is, there is no limit. So that little plastic thing back there, as you tighten in the taillight, it gets kind of harder and harder on that side. And you can pretty much know when to stop. This, there's really no cap. So it's literally right against the frame is where it stops. Um, so this taillight is inwards more than the other side, uh, but I guess it is what it is for now. Again, if he's willing to send me a partial refund, I'll be willing to keep it. Uh, but because, you know, the gaps are different, kind of bugs me. Um, you know, we'll have to see, but I'll keep you guys posted. Taillights looking fantastic. Let's go ahead and do the diffuser. So guys, you have both diffusers side by side. The GT4 looks different from this. This is a regular Cayman. There's a GTS and there's a GT4. I actually wanted the GTS taillights, which I absolutely love. Plus this GTS diffuse is gonna make this re-rend really pop. And it's not actually copying the GT4 theme. The GT4 front bumper does look better, so I went with that. Um, but yeah, kind of mixing everything up from all the Porsche OEM parts. These are all OEM parts, by the way. Does need a little bit of cleaning up, but after some love, it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. This definitely looks a lot better than this. I cannot wait to get it on. saw another few days later it literally took about 10 days 15 days to get this video together for you guys so many things at the porsche it just takes so long uh again the wiring was a huge concern and uh, i don't want to get into too much more talking into this video but the gts tail lights looks phenomenal the gts diffuser looks phenomenal thankfully the wiring did work so that is a huge plus in the next video uh we're probably gonna install some more mods and then i did make an appointment with porsche uh to actually get the the car looked at i need the cooling system properly done i'm hoping they'll look at it even though it has a branded title um and then i'm also hoping they want to do an oil change there because it is kind of a little more complicated on porsches and then uh also to diagnose my radio because that doesn't work so i want porsche should look at all that kind of stuff because I don't really have anyone to look at that kind of stuff. But yeah, that appointment is coming up pretty soon here. But in the meantime, the car is going to continue to get upgrades because when this thing's running, I want to definitely be able to enjoy this bad boy. So without further ado, guys, it's going to have to conclude the video. If you guys are looking forward to another Porsche video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys want to see another crazy M build, make sure to smash that like button. I have something kind of crazy that uh, again, a limited handful of people has ever done and I'm considering on doing it again, kind of again, on this YouTube channel in a different way. So let me know down below, guys, if you guys want to see a crazy another M build or if you guys are enjoying the Porsche content and want to see some more Porsche content, let me know down below. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you all in the next one. Peace out.